Okay, cool. This afternoon we're going to uh, fire up our little heater. Found this thing. Well, somebody posted something on Facebook. And then I followed up by going to the actual site. It's uh, a heater. V-E-V-O-R is the manufacturer. They call this a car heater. They have different versions of it. I have kind of just mocked up here. The battery, fuel tank, controller. Uh, they advertise this thing to be put in your car or in a truck or a bus to give you heat. But I'm going to use it in the shipping container build that we're doing. So, uh, I've already had it running. The tube coming out the bottom is the exhaust. So, it has a remote control. It also has a keypad on here. So, we're going to try the remote control. And tell it to turn on. And the pre-ignition blower just turned on. And the battery charger that's supplementing the battery here turned on. There's a glow plug in here that takes about 15 amps to get it started. And then it runs on less than half an amp when it's going. So any time now, we should hear some kind of activity. Hopefully. I wanted to make a fool out of me. Should be turning on. Try this again. On. And again, it's just silent. I don't hear the fuel pump running. There it goes. Now the fuel pump's ticking in. I think it was waiting for the glow plug to heat up. There we go. Pump ticking a little harder. This is not the fuel tank for it. It runs on diesel. So sounds like the igniter's taking off. Warming up. The inlet is on the right. Outlet is on the left where the hot air comes out. And the fuel pump getting more rhythm. This thing runs on either 12 volts or 24 volts, it doesn't care. going now. You can't see it, but down there, that's the exhaust. It's just a flexible tube. And when I install it, it's going to be a much longer tube going outside the wall of our uh, shipping container here. It's a 40-foot high tube. It's going to become a house. Now we're up. What I'm going to do, I'm going to increase, if it's on two, we're going to kick it up a little bit. Just kick it up to six. You can't really see the display I'm playing with over here. I just dropped it back down to one. I checked it with a uh, digital thermometer thing, and this is where the uh, hot air comes out. So it takes cold air, or ambient temperature air, it goes in through here, goes around the chamber, out the other side with ducting or whatever. And on the bottom, there's an inlet next to the exhaust tube. That's the diesel line that draws in um, 
fresh air for combustion. So you can actually have the combustion air inlet outside and not be burning up all your air inside. I'm going to hit off. You should throttle back. There we go. This is the model CY-7. It's 8KW, whatever that is, in whatever language they use. It translates into uh, 27,200 BTUs, which is a lot of uh, heat coming out of this thing. Um, get them right from the manufacturer for like $97 with the whole kit with the fuel tank. They have another version of this that is like a suitcase model that has one of these inside a case and the tank is built into it so you can carry it around and put it different places. Uh, but this one here, um, I think I'm going to get a second one. One's going in the container. Another one I think I'm going to keep for preheating the Humvee in the wintertime. We had three feet of snow up here. And uh, I had to use one of those big blast heaters like you use when you're doing sheetrock. And I was kind of leery about doing that because it, it puts out too much heat. But uh, this thing here, I can duct it right into the engine compartment and pre-warm that motor before we start it when it's like 27 degrees out. Okay, well this kind of concludes our experiment of the V-Vor, V-E-V-O-R uh, heater. So, and they're made in, where are they made? This one came from Rancho Cucamonga. Um, they're made in Germany. Let's see if I can get a shot of the box. There's the data right there. And that's going into the cool down mode. So it'll automatically shut the fuel off, shut the igniter off, and it's going to keep blowing combustion air through there until it cools down the uh, combustion chamber that automatically shuts down. All right, this concludes our test. Hope you liked it.